Well, good morning, everybody. How's it going? Yeah, it's morning. I'm having my coffee. Mm -hmm. In an Embury Lantern coffee mug. Isn't that cool? It looks blurry, doesn't it? Let's see if we can fix that. Adjust. Autofocus. There we go. That's better. Anyways, a friend of mine gave me this. And that'd be Steve Hillier out in Long Beach. Yeah. I think I've mentioned him before. He's got the uh, traffic barric barricade and lantern collection. He's extensive. I mean, he's got a world-class collection. He really does. Not to mention quite the knowledge about uh, the construction site of kerosene lanterns. Yeah. A lot of them in the 20th century were used just for that, like, um, you know, warning lights for uh, open trenches and road, closed roads and closed bridges and things of that nature. So when you find a lantern, like a tubular, you know, like a Hilo, Monarch, whatever, or, a, a, you know, a Cold Blast, you know, Little Wizard or Number 100 uh, or Little Giant, whatever, uh, they were... And they have, if they have a red globe, it's good chances they were used on a roadway or some construction site as a warning light to let people know that that area was not safe and it was closed. Um, so yeah, typically not railroad related. Mm -mm. Railroad lanterns are different in design entirely. Um, they're lighter and smaller in some regards. So, that being said, if you see a hilo and someone marks it as a Railroad Lantern, they're just trying to get your money. Mm -hmm. And I think I will do a video on, uh, you know, the different types of lanterns, what to look out for, uh, when to spot someone who doesn't know what they're selling or they think they know what they're selling because they want to sell it for a bigger price instead of what it's really worth or whatever. I mean, value is all, you know, here and there. Things can be... You know, people price things for whatever they think it's worth, and a lot of times it's not really worth what they're asking, but, you know, sometimes somebody comes along and says, oh, that's, that's okay, I, I can pay that, I want it. So they do. And then those people can justify their price tags. But anyways, we'll do a video on, uh, well, my opinion about pricing, my opinion about how to sniff out something legitimate, uh, how to spot a phony... Or, you know, how to gauge an item if it's worth what they're asking. I will give you some of my, my uh, little tidbits of uh, experience. There might be some YouTubers that might not appreciate that. <laughs> uh, not many, of course. There's one in particular I will, I will not mention her name. Um, those who know, you know, but there's a hilarious video out there and it's, um, a pricing video and how to evaluate prices on tubular lanterns and it's, it's a riot and I think some antique dealers have seen this video. Anyway, I think I mentioned her name on the channel at some point. You probably heard me. Uh, but anyways, I will, I will not mention her name here. I'm sorry, I'm still kind of groggy. I just, this is my second cup of coffee, you know. We know we I usually have to have ten. <laughs> Kidding. I'm a three-cupper. But uh, it's a beautiful, nice, mellow, cool morning. It's overcast. And I thought this was a great time to go out to the garage, have a pipe and coffee. Well, morning pipe, of course. You know, Dunhill and burn a lantern. We are burning our Bale Lift Burger. This thing really burns well. Yeah, it does. And I love it. I love this thing. It is really quite a special piece. Um, I'll bring it up a little closer so you can see it better. But yeah, with that dirty globe and a nice mellow light, it's perfect for waking up on a Friday morning. Mm hmm I think so. Yeah. Well... What we got today? 
Well, I mentioned an unboxing. Yes, I did. We're going to unbox this. Box. Yep. All wrapped up and sealed. Now, I will say, I will say that the gentleman I bought this from is a good guy. And I had a conversation with him about stuff, about lanterns. And, well, he's a collector. Yeah. And he is selling off some of his lanterns to raise money for a reason. And I support it. Someone in his family is getting married and needs to get to Arizona. So he's selling some of his collection off to, to fund the trip. And that's important, you know. Oh, okay. I'll finish in a little bit. I want to unwrap this. Ooh, I could use bubble wrap. <laughs> it's good to have. Um, so I bought this lantern. Uh, he had a price that he was thinking. And I, I uh, he tagged me in it because, well, I, I don't think he tagged me, but he posted it and I, I recognized it and I, I missed it on eBay a while ago. Uh, and I was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I should have gotten that, I, you know, it was pretty cool, but I'm like, nah, I, I, I'll, there'll be another one. Well, it happens to be I got a second chance at the same lantern. Now, it's a, it's a Rayo 65. And he didn't drain the fuel out of it all the way. <laughs> well, you know. That's all right. Worst things have happened. I think some people that I've sold lanterns to have, you know, thought they got it all, but, you know, the wick will let loose. Pardon me, Mr. Burger. Um, oh, he did put a globe in there. God damn. Well, that's nice of him. I thought he was going to send it globeless. Anyway, well, that's, that's a pretty globe. Yeah. Um, well, the lantern when it was on eBay, it came with a ruby globe. Um, but, uh, you know, this will definitely come in handy. Uh, it will. I, I have another Rayo. I have a 75 that has the marked Rayo globe. Uh, he was selling this with the uh, marked Rayo globe, but the price was, of course, uh, more than I felt that I wanted to pay. Um, and that's fine. I, I don't begrudge anyone wanting to get a little bit more with the proper globe and all that. So with that being said, um, I just said, well, I would like it. I can't meet your price. Um, and he understood. He was really gracious about that. He says, well, I'm only asking that price because of the marked Rayo globe. And it's, you know, it's all ready to go. It's solid and it's nice. Um, so I, I says, I get it. That's fine. That's fine. I, I, no worries. Yeah. But, you know, I hope you get your price. He says, well, tell you what. I'll offer it to you without the rail globe. And I'll come down. And maybe to where you're thinking. I'm like, okay. So we haggled a little bit. And so says, okay, sure. Sounds good. So we agreed up, uh, upon a price. And then he, uh, he sent it. Um, and this thing is really cool. You can't really, well, you can't see it in general. Because I'm wiping the excess uh, kerosene off of it but it's painted dark green yeah you know me I've had this conversation before I've told you how I feel about painted lanterns um, or whatever but I remember seeing this thing on eBay and I was like wow you know that's got some really old green paint on it I like it and I was I was going to buy it I was going to buy it and uh, I did it. I, I either I forgot about it, it just timed out. But yeah, I, I didn't buy it, and I think it only went for the opening bid, which was about what I paid for this. Um, it was not expensive. It was you know under fifty bucks, I think. Uh, but anyways, he bought it, and he had it for a while, and then recently, a couple weeks ago, he po posted it on the 
Landon Group says, I'm selling this. And uh, I was like, oh, I recognize that Lantern. So I, I was like, hey, hey, I remember that off of eBay. So I sent him a, sent him a message. I was like, hey, I, that was on eBay. And he's like, oh yeah, I got it off eBay. I'm like, oh, well, okay, I was right. Um, put the burger over here. So here it is. Rayo 65, Hot Blast. Uh, that globe is a little short. <laughs> well, it looks like I'll be finding a Rayo globe for it. Or I'll put in the, uh, a ruby uh, hot blast globe, you know, flash globe or whatever. I have, I think I have a spare. But anyways, um, that would look cool. And I think it would look cool with the dark green paint, actually, to be fair. Um, now, I could find a number zero Rayo ruby globe, but... Um, those usually do cancer pretty quick. They do. They don't last very long. This globe is definitely earlier. Um, it's probably 1880s, maybe early 1890s before the sizes were standardized because this is a little shorter for this frame. Um, so it would actually probably fit in, say, like a, a Dietz uh, square lift or something like that. But anyhow, um, it's a good globe. It's got great character, waviness, and imperfections. It's probably got manganese in it. It's not, it doesn't have an amethyst tint, which is not a big deal. But if I leave it in the windowsill over time, it will. <laughs> but anyway, this is a cool piece. It is dark green. Maybe you can see a little bit of the color. But it was probably painted way back early on in its, in its career. And it was probably, well, since it came with a red globe, it probably had a job related to a warning light job. Like I was talking about at the start of the video. Um, so this is, falls within 19, uh, 1919, yeah, maybe earlier than that, maybe right around 1910 to 1919. Uh, the Rayo 65 was made between those years, to my understanding. Um, and more or less what it is, is a Hilo. It's got the same pinch lift type of feel here, you know, just like a Hilo. Uh, but it's made by Pritchard Strong. This is the Pritchard Strong version um, of what a Hilo is, uh, but yeah, it's, I'm trying to think. Um, the Pritchard Strong marked version, I believe, was just the number zero, uh, Prisco number zero. Um, and they also offered one with the side lift, which is the Rayo 75. Yeah, this globe is not gonna work for this thing. It's just not, it's just not tall enough. It's not tall enough, which is okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but oh well. Anyhow, it's cool. No big deal. I have things for it. I can use it in other things. Uh, it's always good to have a spare hot blast globe. True. Uh, anyway, uh, this is this is awesome. I'm happy with this. Um, and well, you know, one comes in, one will probably leave. And I might, I might let go of my Rayo 75. Yeah, I might do that. Because uh, I am a bigger fan of the 65, personally. Um, I am. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, something will be up for sale this week or weekend, uh, depending on if I have time to, you know, go through some stuff and pry myself loose with something. <laughs> Anyways, that's awesome, and I'm happy with it. I'm going to finish my coffee and my pipe. And I'll let you guys get back to your Friday, whatever you're doing, if you're working or maybe you're off and maybe you have a different schedule. But hey, whatever you're doing, enjoy it, make the best of it. And just know that after afterwards, you can light up a lantern and enjoy and prepare for your weekend. All right. Well, friends, it's the middle of October. I have not forgotten. I will be making Halloween content. So stay tuned for that. Uh, in the meantime, we'll be... Uh, just doing our regular thing. So, awesome. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.